The Garden of the Hesperides was considered one of the most beautiful places on Earth. It was there that the beautiful goddess Hera lived before meeting Zeus. The god of thunder fell in love with the goddess, but the goddess, knowing that Zeus had a reputation as a womanizer, rejected his approaches. But the great god didn't give up his new passion and made a plan to win her over. He took the form of a small bird known as Cuckoo and made a heavy rainfall. The goddess was sorry to see that little bird soaked and cold. To comfort and warm it, Hera tucked it close to her body. Zeus, in the shape of a bird, took advantage of that situation to unite with the goddess. After this union, Zeus and Hera decided to organize a grand wedding party where all deities were invited. Hermes was given the task of inviting all gods and minor deities to the divine wedding. The guests started to arrive, and no deity had the audacity not to attend the wedding of the god of the universe. Only the nymph, Colone, known for her laziness, had not arrived. As Hermes was responsible for delivering the invitations, he feared being held responsible for the guests' absence. So the god tried to gauge what had happened. The god arrived at the nymph's house and searched for her. Hermes found the nymph asleep and wanted to know why she wasn't at the party. The nymph answered that she was about to leave home and that he didn't need to worry. The god, feeling more at ease, returned quickly to the party. Kiloni decided to sleep only five more minutes. Much later, she woke up and headed sluggishly to the party, one step slower than the other. Her laziness was colossal. At that moment, she preferred to be in bed. Halfway there, she began to meet the guests who were already returning from the party. So she decided to go home, because the party would probably be over, and she didn't want to tire herself out pointlessly. As Hermes predicted, he was eventually held responsible for the nymph's absence. Zeus and Hera did not believe Chelone could commit such an act of disrespect. Enraged by being found guilty, Hermes again decided to visit Chelone. Chelone was in one of her traditional napping moments, floating in the lagoon in front of her house. Looking at that scenario, Hermes was furious. He lifted Chelone's house from the ground and decided to punish the indolent nymph. You hate to stay away from your much treasured home, don't you? So from now on, you'll have to carry it wherever you want to go. The god threw the house over the nymph, which floated over the waters. After the impact, Chelone emerged with the appearance of a reptile. The nymph was punished. Now she would have to carry the house on her back, but her laziness and slowness did not change. 